that respect for myself I don't do it for my health, man I do it for the belt, man I do it to the death, to the roof Get mail on a degree, drop the roof So the coop don't What's going on, Ant Keepers? Welcome back to another episode of My Antics. Today we're going to be talking about how to move a decent-sized colony from one test tube to another. There may be a couple different reasons why you haven't moved them into a nest yet. Maybe in sufficient numbers. Or maybe you don't have the right setup for them yet, and you're just biding your time while they grow. There are a couple different reasons why you may be moving test tubes running out of water for one reason. Maybe their test tube has become dirty and you no longer think that it's healthy for them to live in it. Regardless of the case, we're going to be going through exactly how I personally change test tubes and giving you some good helpful tips to do it at home. There are many different reasons why you may have to switch your colony's test tube periodically. In this instance, this colony got blue honey all over the walls. Their water cotton also is beginning to turn off color, which in my eyes means it's time to switch their test tubes. The next couple minutes of this video will just be me switching them from one test tube to another, but I hope it gives you a better understanding about exactly how you should go along doing that when the time comes. Enjoy. Switching your test tube has many factors that come into play while you're in the process. Number one is you always have to make sure you're in control of the situation. If you do lose control, there is a pyramid of priorities that come before one another. On the very top of your pyramid is the queen herself. If she was to escape while you're in the process of switching their test tubes, she is the, without a doubt, number one priority at the moment. Even if you have a whole table full of escaped workers, and there's a dozen of them swarming your hands, the queen comes before everything and anything you're doing. Once your queen is locked away in her new test tube, then you, you prioritize to the workers. Grabbing cotton, loosely pinching them and putting them one by one into the new test tube is the best way to work towards getting them all successfully in where they belong. Some workers may be grabbing onto brood and running in different directions with it. This is an issue that I do face from time to time and at that moment they do prioritize over workers that don't have brood. So making sure that you have your objectives in order make sure that you can successfully, or as close as possible, come to completing your task of switching test tubes. As you can see, I am focusing on one ant at a time. 
Now this Camponata species in general, Camponatus pensylvanicus, is not really known for going chaotic and rushing out of their old test tube. You can see that they are moving around, but they're not really leaving their old test tube, which makes it a lot easier for me to switch them from one to another. You may have a species that, unlike Camponatus pensylvanicus, go crazy when they have a chance to run out and escape. If that is the case, you not only have to make sure you keep cotton over the new test tube to keep the workers that are already in the new test tube from escaping, but you're going to have to keep cotton over the old test tube, and you're going to have to multitask by removing one of another and putting them into where they're supposed to be. The question of how to switch colonies test tubes have been rolling around a lot on Ant Keeping Hobbyists USA and Myantics Facebook groups. So I'm really glad I had a time to show a video about how I personally switch them up. Now when it comes to a colony that may have 50 or more workers, this may not be the best solution. In a previous video we did show how to do the light to dark method, which might take a little longer but it might be a lot less of a headache than trying to do this with a huge colony. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting my antics. You all have a wonderful night, and remember, happy ant keeping. Beep, 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 beep.